what is up, ladies and gentlemen of the Yu-Gi-Oh! gaming community. It is your host with, not necessarily the most, but I like to think I had the most, Avery LR32 here. And it's been a while since I've been able to do that intro. Uh, where have I been? Uh, what I'm guessing, if I had to guess, it's probably been like a month. I haven't really been looking at the videos on my channel. But it's been probably about a month or so since I last posted, since I last posted a video. And what's been going on? College life, work, family, my hair looking like crazy. I haven't even touched Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. Um, I'm finally getting over a cold. Um, I went with uh, my cousin to this event known as EDC in Orlando, Florida, which is basically a huge uh, trap music, dubstep music, carnival-like festival which is a lot of fun and uh, it was my second time going had an absolute blast and college life has just has just been keeping me busy um, in case I haven't already told you guys I am the mascot at the college that I am at uh, at the University of North Florida if you don't know what a mascot is just look up you know football game mascot University of North Florida on YouTube and you'll find it and that's what I do and it's a lot of fun I get paid for it as well which is really cool and uh, I also have my own radio show at the University of North Florida, which actually goes on in about 10 minutes or so. And I'll have to check and see if it's on the, uh, the website or not, because the website's been a bit finicky. But that's what's been going on. I've been really busy with life, and I've been thinking about a lot of things, and I kind of wanted to fill you guys in. So what's been going on is that not only has life been so busy for me, but also I haven't touched Yu-Gi-Oh! like at all. <laughs> Like, it's, it's, it's really weird, because, uh, as you know, I got my invite uh, at the beginning of this regional season, and it was in Kissimmee, Florida, Orlando, Florida, and that location was the first regional of this regional season. So I went to the very first regional of this regional season, and I got my invite at it, and ever since then, I've just been grinding at school. I have had no desire to go to any events. I've had no desire to even learn how to play Spiral. I've had no desire to even update my Trickstar build to even try and play that. Um, I tried playing Chainburn on Dueling Book today against like a Goki plant engine, metal foe engine deck, and I just got stomped because Chainburn just can't keep up. The decks are so fast right now that it just... it Chainburn is just... it's blown out of the water. It just can't keep up. You have a better chance of playing Statue Stun and doing well than with Chainburn. Um, so there's that, and I was watching uh, a video that Gage X Scapegoat, the person that I had a falling out with, in case you haven't seen that video, go and check it out, uh, but I check out his channel from time to time, because as I said in that video, he does post good content, just because we had a falling out doesn't mean that that YouTuber doesn't necessarily post good content, and he talked about in his channel update video how he was going to be done on, I believe he said January 1st. 2018 was when he was going to post his last video because he felt that he had said everything that he needed to say or that he could say. And I thought that that was very interesting because he has you know almost 2,000 subscribers. He's been doing very well for himself. And it's been it's a shame to see him go because he is a uh, knowledgeable player. Doesn't necessarily I don't necessarily agree with all of his thoughts and insights, but you know a good player nonetheless. You know from one player to another. You know congratulations, Gage. Um, even with a falling out, you know, that was years ago, it is what it is, he's a good player, I'm not going to try and deny that, and it got me to thinking, have I said everything I need to say in this game, and to that I say yes, and I also say no, I don't want to quit the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's very stale for me right now, just because of the fact that I already have my invite, we don't know when Nationals is, I have no desire to pick up spirals. I have no reason to. Like, I already have my invite. There's a regional back in Kissimmee on December 9th, and I don't even know if I'm even going to go, because it's like, what's the point in going? I mean, yeah, I can hang out with my friends and stuff, maybe judge the event, but it's like, do I really want to judge the event just to get product? Like, it just, I don't know. I, it's been something that I've been thinking about, and I'm probably just not going to go. But I think because of the fact that my life is just so busy, and because of the fact that I make no money on YouTube, the attempts that I have tried at making money off of YouTube, it's just, it's a grind that I just don't have any time for, you know, and 
that that's unfortunate to say because I do enjoy doing YouTube as a hobby. And so what I ended up thinking about, or coming to the conclusion of rather, was this. I am done making videos on YouTube. So if you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe, but that doesn't necessarily mean I, that I'm gone. Because here's what I'm going to do. If there's something that comes up that is big time Yu-Gi-Oh news, um, you know, like, for example, Konami stops making product or whatever, of course I would cover that on my channel. But in regards to posting discussion videos and things of that nature, I'm really only going to post things like deck profiles if I top with it or if I feel that I want to throw my hat into the ring to make an updated version of a certain build. Like for example, if I go on YouTube and I see a bunch of chamber and deck profiles and I think that all these profiles are garbage, I'll throw my hat into the ring with my two cents and talk about chamber in that case. Or if I see a bunch of trick star builds that seem kind of trash, I'll throw my build up and let people do what they want with it. Because I still like to think that my build had a very big impact on the trick star deck meta and idea as a whole not just that but Michael State also topped in Kissimmee with an invoked build but uh, yo, I'm not trying to sound egotistical I'm just saying I think my top and Michael State's top both of us were the only two people playing trick stars played a very big role in forming how the trick star deck is played so that is why I kind of say I'm a self-proclaimed expert not because I'm trying to have a big ego that's just because I was one of the first people to top with the deck and I feel knowledgeable because of it. <laughs> so, I think all in all, it's just quite a depressing thing because I still remember when I was when I made that YouTube video of you know Capital G, someone that I've watched for years since like 2009, 2010, had subscribed to my channel, which was really cool to see. However, that doesn't that doesn't automatically mean I am a huge YouTuber. You know, it still blows me away that Simo, God, he made such a stupid decision to quit going to school, to quit doing his master's degree in whatever it is he's getting his master's degree in, to do Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, <laughs> really, like, I make no money off of this, and I mean, if, if you're bringing the bread home, I guess, but, pimp, you, it, it, YouTube's not gonna last forever. It's really not. And I'm, I'm just sick and tired of not seeing any sort of increase and of course people are gonna say well you don't post daily so you're not in the YouTube algorithm bro even when I posted daily I posted daily for like a whole month and I saw no increase in fact I actually saw a decrease at that point in time during my channel's lifespan so I'm not deleting my videos um, I think that as Gage had said in his channel update video I think a lot of good can come from update or not update videos but old discussion videos like even looking back at old discussion videos applying those discussion videos to today's meta is still something that can be done and so I think because of that I'm still going to leave up all of my videos and plus it's just a walk down memory lane for me as well just to kind of see how I've grown up it's cool whenever you look back at like my very first set of videos and you like hear how high pitched my voice is because I was like 13 14 years old at the time and now I'm 21 and I have a lot more experience in this game under my belt. So I think with all that being said, if you want to stick around and stay subscribed to the channel, I'm very active on YouTube. I'll comment on people's videos. I'll like their videos and stuff. Most of the videos I like are mostly music videos uh, because I'm always like trying to find new music to listen to and stuff. But you know, if you want to keep up with me with that kind of stuff, you know, feel free to. Um, or you know, just feel free to keep up with me and like the comments of other people's videos. But in regards to video making and all of that fun stuff, I think that this is going to be the last video for a while. Um, but I want to thank each and every one of you for this journey. It has been absolutely fun. I'm not quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! So if you happen to see me at an event or something, come up and say hi. It'd be awesome to talk with you know my fellow subscribers. Um, <laughs> which might not happen with my low sub count, but it's whatever. Um, but... I want to thank each and every one of you for this amazing journey. It's been so much fun. I'll still be around in the community. I'll still be commenting on Cap G and M Cole 40 shirt fun videos and all that fun stuff. Um, but just in regards to video making right now, I just I don't have the time for it. And when I do have time for it, I either want to play Destiny or just video games in general or watch TV or just relax. Um, and if I'm not doing that, I'm doing homework or studying for final exams. I just don't have the time. I'm not quitting school to do YouTube full-time because that would never work out for me, you know. 
Um, now, am I quitting because of the money? I'm not quitting because I'm not making money. I wasn't making money from day one. So, don't think that that's a reason why I'm quitting. I'm quitting just because of the fact I feel like I've said everything that I have needed to say. And, you know, people are going to get mad at me for that. It's whatever. I appreciate it, each and every one of you for being with this channel for so long, whether you were here for a month or a year or five years, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support on this channel. And I will be seeing you guys around. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.